So today I'd like to talk about California coin silver. So coin silver was silver made between about 1810 and about 1880. Most coin silver in the United States was made in New York, Boston, or Philadelphia. Somewhat rarer would be Southern coin silver, which is quite collectible. And the rarest is Texas coin silver. Now that's really rare and one piece can sell for a thousand dollars where, for instance, a piece of New York coin silver, a spoon, for instance, would sell for about $30. So big difference. So the other place that coin silver was found is California. It would seem to me, why would there be coin silver from California? And the reasons are 1848, there's gold rush, Sutter's Mill, they found gold. Many miners went to California to make their fortune. Most of them did not. And so by the 1850s, they had tried other areas, uh, including the Sierra Nevada mountains. There, um, in 1859, a miner named John McKay, a, a, um, an Irishman who had absolutely nothing, found the Comstock load. This book, The Bonanza King, was written about his finding the Comstock load. I don't think many people know how big a silver find this was, but the numbers are staggering. In the 20 year period after the mine was discovered, in today's dollars, $600 billion in mainly silver were taken out of that mine. Billion. Nothing has ever been like that before. Nothing has ever been like that after. So most of this money went to California and most of the California money went to San Francisco. So where there's money and there's silver and there's wealthy people, the only other thing you need are silversmiths to have great silver. And they found their way there because of the, the silver and the wealth. And they created a number of companies. Shreve was the most popular, Vanderslice was big, Reiki, let's see, Reichel was big, Schultz and Fisher, among others. And they created silver, coin silver, for the wealthy. And it was a real boom time in California. And the silver they produced was great. So I'll show you a few of the things that they created. So there's a pattern called Olympic that they created. So it's a beautiful fork with all hand engraved design on the tines. Again, an Olympic, a cake saw, beautiful hand engraving. One of the patterns I like the most is called Cleopatra. It's got a, a phoenix on the um, handle, and then again, all handwork. Here's a pie server. It's got a bird among the foliage. This piece is in the pattern Starfire. This is a really cool spoon. So it's got a heart, and then it's got a, inside the heart, it's got a house on a bay uh, with mountains around it. I would say that's probably San Francisco Bay. Another one that, that I like was called gargoyle. So, sort of a mean looking gargoyle on top. Again, bright cut, really good looking stuff. Here's a, here's a pie server in that. One pattern that was very popular by Shreve was called 14th Century, and it was very arts and crafts. Here's a place setting that was started in probably the 1870s, and then 
the pattern is was sold to another company, Old Newberry Crafters, and right to today, they still make this wonderful pattern. It's one of my favorites. So anyway, where do we get this? So I was contacted by a, a, a person who collected this great California silver for his entire life, and we purchased his collection. It was about 600 pieces of California coin silver, and I would say probably 120 of those were servers. It was a once in a lifetime opportunity, and I'm sure you'll enjoy our pictures of it. Thank you.